today's topic is uniform distribution so in today's topic so we have to solve that if x is uniform random variable over the interval a comma b so we have to find out the mean and the variance of x see here what is given x is uniform random variable so if x is uniform random variable so given x is a uniform random variable if x is uniform random variable over the interval a comma b over an interval a comma b a comma b the probability density function is given as f of x is equal to 1 by b minus a where x lies between a and b a less than x less than b and 0 otherwise see here so this is the probability density function now we have to find out the mean of it so we have to find the mean of the uniform distribution so this will be e of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x into dx see here in between a to b the function value is b minus a see i am showing this so in between so this is minus infinity and this is plus infinity in between a and b f of x value is nothing but 1 by b minus a so in the other cases f of x value is equal to 0 so now i have to split this into three forms that is integral a minus infinity to a this can be split as this is minus infinity to a x into f of x dx plus again a to b x into f of x dx plus again b to plus infinity x into f of x dx so here in between minus infinity to a f of x value is equal to 0 so in between b to infinity f of x value is equal to 0 in this case f of x value is equal to minus 1 by b minus a so this is integral a to b x into 1 by so this is b minus a into dx so this is 1 by b minus a if i take common so this will be integral a to b x into dx so integral x is nothing but 1 by b minus a so this will be x square by 2 between the limits a to b so here upper limit is b and the lower limit is a so this value is equal to 1 by b minus a times of upper limit is b square minus a and the lower limit is a square minus 2 so this is equal to 1 by b minus a if i take 2 as lcm this will be b square minus a square see here b square minus a square can be written as b plus a into b minus a by here this is b minus a into 2 so if i cancel this one so the mean value will be a plus b by 2 so the mean e of x value is equal to a plus b by 2 so this is the mean of the uniform distribution and the next thing we have to find out the variance of x so the variance of uh, x of uniform distribution can be written as the variance of x is equal to this is e of x square minus e of x whole square e of x whole square so first of all i am going to solve e of x square so e of x square is nothing but see here e of x square is nothing but again the same thing minus infinity to plus infinity x square into f of x into dx now again i am going to split from minus infinity to a x square f of x dx and again from a to b x square f of x dx plus again b to infinity x square f of x dx so here f of x value is 0 here f of x value is 0 here the value is 1 by b minus a so here e of x square value is equal to integral a to b 
this is x square f of x value is 1 by b minus a into dx so if i take b minus a common so this will be a to b x square into dx so this is 1 by b minus a for x square the integration is x cube by 3 between the limits a to b and see here between the limits a to b and now the upper limit value here will be so this is 1 by b minus a upper limit is b cube by 3 minus this is a cube by 3 and see this value is equal to this is b cube minus a cube by b minus a into 3 now this value is going to become a cube minus b cube formula that is b minus a into this is b square plus a b plus a square a square by this is b minus a into 3 so if i cancel this one the value here will be b square plus a b plus a square by 3 so this is nothing but e of x square now we have the mean value e of x as just now i proved that one that is a plus b by 2 see i am going to show it this is a plus b by 2 the mean value is a plus b by 2 now the variance formula is equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square so the variance of, of x the variance of x is equal to that is e of x square minus e of x whole square so both the values are ready e of x square is nothing but so the variance of x is equal to this is b square plus a b plus a square by 3 minus this is a plus b by 2 whole square now we have to solve it that is variance of x is equal to so this is b square plus a b plus a square by 3 minus if i expand this one this will be a square plus b square plus 2 a b by 2 square the value here is 4 so if i take 12 as lcm so if i cross multiply so this is 4 times of b square plus a b plus a square minus 3 times of this one that is a square plus b square plus 2 a b See, if I multiply, this will be 4b square plus 4ab plus 4a square. This is minus 3a square minus 3b square minus 6ab divided by 12. See, first one, 4b square. So, here it is plus 4 and this is minus 3. So, this is plus b square. 4 minus 6 so this is 2ab and this is 4a square minus 3a square this is plus a square by 12 so a square so this is nothing but a square minus 2ab plus b square by 12 so which is equal to a minus b whole square by 12 therefore the variance of x of uniform distribution is nothing but a minus b whole square plus a minus b whole square by 12. So this is nothing but the variance of x of uh, uniform distribution. So this is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. So this is the most easiest topic. The first one it is given that x is uniform uh, uniform random variable and so the probability density function is given as f of x is equal to 1 by b minus c where x lies between a to b a and b and 0 otherwise so first of all the mean value is from minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x into dx so which means that in between minus infinity to plus infinity f of x value is equal to 1 by b minus c when x lies between a to b and in the rest rest of the places f of x value is equal to 0 therefore so this can be split as minus infinity to a a to b and again b to infinity so and so if i solve this and substitute all the limits e of um, e of x the mean value is given as the mean of the uniform distribution is given as a plus b by 2 and the variance is also very simple x square into f of x first we have to solve this and after solving this and substituting in this so this is e of x square value and this is e of x this is mean value so this is mean 
So if I substitute all this, the value here is a minus b whole square by 12. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please practice and pass it on to your friends. And I'll be uploading few more uh, videos uh, related to these series. Have a look at those and definitely it will be very helpful for your preparation. And thank you so much.